So you know how I said in my previous review that Batman and Harley Quinn was the next movie? It's not. It's the one after this one. Because it turns out I forgot one. Because it's a bad one. It, it's a really bad one, and it's arguably the worst one of the New 52 canon. This movie blows, is what I'm saying, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Is it as bad as Killing Joke? No, but it's in the ballpark. And apparently my thoughts on this one are pretty controversial because it does have its fans, but I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I thought this movie was terrible, and I'm going to tell you why. What's up, it's Asmund Gobi, I'm going to go back to the animation station, and I'm going to say, animation, including TVs and movies as well, I'm your host, Justin Small. I am getting better at that the more I say it. And welcome to my scathing review of Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. Now, for those of you that don't remember my short review that I did for Justice League vs. Teen Titans, I thought it was a very solid movie, just didn't really have much to say about it because it was very self-explanatory. This one's the opposite problem. I don't have a lot to say about it because it absolutely sucks. Like, this one is one of the most boring watches of this entire marathon. Yes, even more boring than Throne of Atlantis, and I did not think that was possible to do. Here's my short written review, I don't want to spend too much time on this one, so we can actually get to Batman and Harley Quinn next time. Don't have much to say, this one absolutely sucks. Pros, decent animation, good voice acting, solid pacing, and a cute romance with Nightwing and Starfire. That's the biggest positive I'll give the movie, the... Romance between Nightwing and Starfire is legitimately cute. But the cons, the storytelling's lousy, the writing is absolutely cringe, including a bunch of painful references to Twitter. Dialogue is bland, plot is a mess, the villains are awful, and considering that Deathstroke is one of these and he was an amazing villain in Son of Batman, which takes place in the same damn continuity as this movie, that is unacceptable. And no, it's not just because of the change of voice actor. It's simply because, in this movie, he sucks. The twist is predictable. I wouldn't even call it a twist because, I mean, you can see it coming from a mile away. Tara is one of the most unlikable characters in these movies so far, which sucks because she was one of the most interesting ones of the original Teen Titans animated series. And the runtime is obnoxious. This movie is an hour and 24 minutes long. It has no right being that long. Overall, worst New 52 film so far, and a terrible excuse of a sequel to the solid Justice League vs. Teen Titans, skip it. Yeah, this one's going in the garbage pile. Final verdict for this huge snore fest is a 3.5 out of 10. Not as bad as The Killing Joke, but still not even close to being passable. Tedious, dull, boring, cringy, and monotonous. I recommend that you stay far away from this trash, from this freaking trash heap. But if you're one of the people that does like it, continue to like it. I just personally don't like it. Simple as that. Thanks for watching. Now, see you next time for Batman and Harley Quinn. Yeah! We cannot take it anymore, the time has come, the clouds are up, it's a bad fight, we're ready for this! I really hope that I'm ready for this.